We're here at IDEX 2019 and I'm speaking with Florian Nagy's Head of Sales, Ryan Mattel, Military and Logistic Trucks. Florian, we're standing beside an example of Ryan Mattel's HX range of trucks. Yes. Could you give us a few details of any recent HX related developments? Yes, we in December last year we signed a contract with the German Army on 100 uh, 37 trucks, a frame contract uh, with the first batch of 32 trucks in a, a tank transporter configuration. Uh, this is our recently signed contract with the German Army and this is a more or less a follow-on business on the German UTF contract which is a contract on more than on uh, more than 2,000 trucks for the German Army to renew their logistic fleet. And, and if we talk tank transporter that's an, an HX81 the, the tank transporter in this case is an HX81, but it's, it's the same family, uh, it's the same truck out of the same family as the UTFs. The UTF trucks are 6x6 and 8x8 configuration, and so the HX81 is uh, comparable to these trucks, the same family, uh, which is HX from 4x4 to 10x10 available in uh, our portfolio. And if we talk of the tank transporter, if I understand it correctly, the, the German army has had two previous small batches of HX81? All German tank transporters are from Rheinmetall or MAN in former times, but uh, they have already HX81 trucks in service, uh, 32, which uh, were equipped at that time with a protected cabin, and the current contract is an unprotected configuration. Uh, but these vehicles are prepared for a cabin switch, so you can swap the cabin from unprotected to protected if they are interested in or send them to missions. So they can um, order additional cabins protected and we can uh, swap the cabin for these uh, transporters uh, as well. And if I understand the contract correctly, uh, on this occasion the, the German army didn't order trailers with, with the tank transporters, but previously they have? There is an, an, another um, uh, contract which is not uh, uh, with us, uh, so the, they have trailers already in service partly and they will buy new trailers but not with us. You say the, the recent HX81 award is connected to the UTF requirement for which Ryan Metall are supplying 6x6 and 8x8 trucks. Um, could you fill in a few of the details around that requirement? Yes. I think it's um, um, the German Army um, is in a uh, modernization program for all of their uh, logistic fleet. So we are talking, um, as, as far as we know, um, of more than 10,000 trucks. And uh, these first projects, the UTF, which is contracted for a number of 2,271 trucks, um, is the first step to renew the whole fleet. Um, and there is a commonality between all these trucks because we are offering out of the same HX family. And other users of HX, perhaps one of the best known users is, is, is the UK, which was, I believe, the, the kickoff customer for, for the HX range. Um, but another big user is Australia. Could you uh, bring us up to date? Have deliveries to Australia finished or are they still ongoing? The delivery, deliveries are still ongoing, so uh, the first contract, which was uh, the Land 1 to 1 3B, um, is uh, a contract on 2,540 vehicles, of which uh, more or less uh, the half is delivered and the rest will follow soon. Uh, and the last year, um, Australian authorities decided for uh, another um, tender on uh, 1,044 trucks, which is more or less more of the same order so we will deliver all these trucks within the next years to Australia ending up with around uh, 3,500 trucks in different configurations from 4x4 to 10x10 for the Australian Armed Forces. And I understand Sweden and Norway are another potentially large customers with framework contracts and that Sweden has just awarded a, a further contract for HX trucks? Yes, um, uh, last year in December we signed a contract with Sweden on a system carrier vehicle for Patriot air defense system. So this is also an 8x8 HX 
And this is an add-on to the framework contract we have in place with Norway and Sweden, where um, HX NTG vehicles, our uh, more civilian variant of a truck, is offered to these uh, countries. And I understand that the, the HX family runs from a 4x4 chassis through to a 10x10 chassis. Could you give us an overview of the capability and some of the, the technical aspects of the, of the vehicle family? Yes. Uh, this is a, the, one, the biggest advantage of our HX family, that we are having a huge commonality between all these vehicles from 4x4 to 10x10 uh, regarding um, engines, drivetrains, uh, the cabin itself, it's, it's, it's in all these vehicles the same, so we have a huge commonality, which is also convincing for our customers, like in Germany, it was a main decision to decide for a vehicle or family for this uh, commonality reason, not only for spare part supply and maintenance, but also for training. And uh, just to give you an idea that we can uh, use um, a range of different engines for all these types of vehicles from uh, 440 up to uh, 680 horsepowers, but still the cabin and everything stays the same, which proves the commonality of the family. And, and things like uh, gearboxes, transfer cases, drive axles, all that sort of stuff. Um, are they all in-house, as in Rheumatel Man, or, or, or do you use third-party components? Yeah, partly we use third-party components, but uh, our first uh, uh, intention is to, uh, to use uh, uh, parts, engines, drivetrains out of the MAN portfolio uh, to use this um, experience of them in, in uh, constructing trucks and to, to transfer it from the civilian world uh, to the military world and partly these parts are hardened in a way to uh, withstand military requirements. And in terms of capability, what, what sort of gross vehicle weights do we start from, from say the 4x4 and what do we run through to for something like a 10x10 chassis? So the, the 4x4 truck has a, a uh, payload around five tons and a 10x10 which is our uh, heaviest truck in the portfolio designed for um, as, as a system carrier for bridge layers uh, for Howitzer systems is uh, with a payload uh, above 25 tons so this is the range of payloads we can offer with one family vehicle. And, and obviously a key subject, continuing key subject when it comes to logistic vehicles is, is cab armouring. Now I understand Rheumatel has two options, a, a, a swap cab uh, and a plique package. Could you give us a few details on those? Yes. Um, for example, we, we uh, spoke already on the, on the contract with the United Kingdom. It was uh, about uh, 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 7,500 trucks and they decided that time, some years ago, for a modular armor kit, which, which can be adapted to the standard cabin. So this is one way to protect uh, the, uh, the crew. And uh, the other one is um, the integrated armor cabin, which is available in different uh, protection levels uh, at Rheinmetall, uh, in-house production. And uh, this, uh, the EHX is prepared to, uh, to have a cabin swap within one day. You need a workshop, a crane and a crew and you can uh, uh, change an unprotected UTF vehicle for example to a protected with the required protection level within, within one day. And when we look at the integrated armour cabin, um, I'm guessing that probably weighs around the three tonne mark at maximum protection levels. Um, that's quite a load for a conventional truck, especially a truck with a single front axle. Um, what, what have you done to the HX range to make sure that it can accommodate that sort of weight? Now, this is uh, one of the biggest advantages of the HX at all, because we prepared the chassis to carry uh, this additional weight, and it depends on the protection level for sure. But but three tons are not uh, are, are for sure an additional weight on the on the first axle, on on the frame. So what we did, we developed an own front axle, which is uh, allowing us an 11 tons weight on the first axle, and we um, supported the frame and the front end of the frame to be prepared to carry uh, a such kind of additional weight. And this is uh, uh, the biggest uh, difference, differentiation to uh, civilian trucks, since they are not designed to carry such weights in the, in, in, in the, in the cabin. So this is one of the um, big advantages. We can offer this as a durable system, not only for one or two years, but for 20 years.